Welcome back to the IEC results. This is the Operations Center. This, of course, is where everything is going to be happening come Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And this is where you're going to get all of the action. You'll see that the political parties will be based here. This is the Results Operations Center, or more commonly known as The Rock. And you'll see that this is a hub. It's a hive of activity, 24 hours a day. And you'll see voting taking place through the night. The boards behind me will eventually be filled with different numbers and different things that will indicate how the respective parties are doing, how the provinces are doing, how the areas that you vote in are doing. So this is really the place that you want to keep your eye on and we'll be keeping our eye on it for you here at the SABC studio. We've got a beautiful setup here. We really do. So it's great to show you what, we, uh, what we've got planned for you. So we've got this beautiful overhead camera that uh, is going to show you these results. These are touchscreen uh, computers and, uh, and television screens that we're able to work with our analysts and show you the results as and when they do come in. So this is quite a nice addition to the set here. We've also got uh, screens on either side of us. We'll have an analyst there analyzing the results as well as uh, on the other side, so both to my left and my right. So we're really going to have comprehensive coverage coming from The Rock as well as our main hub, which is going to be the Johannesburg studio in Auckland Park, where we're going to have a host of analysts as well that are going to be talking to the numbers. So we'll be bringing up our graphs and graphs graphics from there and having analysis coming from the SABC headquarters in Auckland Park. But most importantly, and for wherever you are in the country, we've got you covered because we've got, of course, all of the SABC staff out and about at the different IEC election centers. Now, you'll know that there are nine provinces in South Africa, nine different election centers, but we'll also be at all the voting stations and all of the hotspots that have been identified by security personnel all over the country. So the SABC having deployed reporters there. Let's start off with some crossings. In fact, we've got Jade Lee Paulser out in uh, Port Elizabeth. Now, Port Elizabeth, as far as I know, not just Port Elizabeth, but the whole of the Eastern Cape, have the highest registered voters for the special vote that will be taking place today and tomorrow. And the IEC officials have promised safety and security will be provided during the entire election period. 775,000 South Africans have applied to make their special votes over these uh, next two days. So Jade Lee Pauls is there. Jade, how are you doing so far? And uh, I can imagine that there's a lot of excitement in the province ahead of these elections. A very good morning to you, Leanne, and a very good morning to the viewers. Well, I am coming to you from the Shire home here in Summerstrand. We've been driving around, um, the SABC crew and I have been driving around, finding out have the, you know, um, IEC presiding officers gone out and erected any tents for those special votes. Like you said, there is two categories. There's the special votes, and then there are also the home visits. But just going over those um, statistics, it's very interesting to note that the Eastern Cape has the highest number of special votes and those two categories nationally have a 58.4% of the applications and those are for the home visits and 41.6% for voting station visits. So the Eastern Cape received 20% of the national figure for home visits and nationally over 452 applications for home visits and the Eastern Cape then also received 85,000 over 85,000 for those. So we are the province with the highest number of special votes. So we're going to be crisscrossing the metro and I'm sure my colleagues in the other areas such as Mtata and East London will also be going and checking out those voting stations and also looking at the home visits. But Leanne, I am joined by Deirdre Berger. She's the owner of Sashaya Home. And this home particularly has been identified as one that has one of the most votes, special votes here in Nelson Mandela Metro. Good morning, Deirdre. Very exciting day today. Absolutely. Thank you very much for being here. We are very excited. The residents are excited to cast their votes today and they are greatly appreciative of the opportunity to be able to vote right here at Cheshire Homes. 
just tell us, obviously I haven't seen any of the IAC officials right now. Um, we do know that the voting will go over two days. Um, have they corresponded with you or, or told you when they will be coming out to the home? As we know, it has been um, earmarked as one of the homes in the metro that has one of the highest special votes. Um, the okay. application forms for the special votes, um, they have just sent a notification back to say that the, today or tomorrow, but we haven't been in any further contact with the IEC, so we're expecting them at any stage to, to pitch up and allow us the opportunity to vote. And then obviously speaking to the residents, I'm sure there's a lot of euphoria here, a lot of excitement, it's election, you know, in the air. What are they saying at the home? We don't really engage in too much conversation with them because we are a non-political organisation. So they're kind of not really talking too much about, uh, about it to us and we're not encouraging them too much, although the excitement within you can see because they will start talking and say something and we'll say, no, remember, don't talk too much about politics at Cheshire because we're a non-political organisation. And your vote is your secret. That is also true, Deirdre. Um, I also wanted to ask you, in terms of the, your readiness at the home, have there been um, anything put in place to make sure that it's going to be safe for those who are going to be casting their vote? Are you working hand-in-hand -hand with those IAC presiding officers? Correct. Um, we have done this before. So um, they're very secretive about their votes, the residents. And those that cannot vote, we assist them. Um, or we get an IEC presiding officer to assist the residents to make sure that their vote remains confidential and um, that their rights are being um, acknowledged. Thank you very much, Deirdre. That was Deirdre Berger, the owner of Sashaya Home here in Nelson Mandela Bay. And this home in particular has been identified as one of the homes that have the highest special votes. You would know that the special votes are for those who have disabilities, or who are pregnant, or who simply cannot get to a voting station. But also, you can cast a special vote at various voting stations. There are 255 voting stations, special voting stations in the Eastern Cape, so you can go and place your vote there, Leanne. So a lot of excitement here in the metro. We're going to be taking an, a drive to the township to see what's happening in Wells Estate. I know that there's a tent that's going to be erected for the community there who will be casting their special votes. Leanne, it's back to you. All right, Jade, thanks very, very much. So, yeah, I can see already that uh, uh, voting started in South Africa for those special votes cast. 775,000 people have applied. Remember, these are all the uh, special votes that have already been applied for. So if you haven't applied for it, it's not something that you can apply for today. Uh, they are already sorted out. If you haven't, you need to get to the polls on Wednesday to get that special vote. And the IEC officials will come to your residence or you go to them. But it's all been arranged before. Beforehand. And as you heard from uh, Jade, the Eastern Cape having the highest number. These, we talk to special votes, are those that are elderly, they're pregnant, they are ill, that they cannot get to voting stations, or they're working, like many journalists. And you'll actually see some of the IFC officials voting today, because on the day they'll be working and they won't be able to cast their vote. Now, let's go over to KwaZulu-Natal, where special votes...